This is the Cinepair CF100 by Zion. This comes in at £179, but I have a 10% discount code for you to get this cheaper than everyone else. This is a photography light. You can use it for vlogging, whatever your video filming or photography needs are. This is going to be perfect for that. It is wireless, it's portable, it's easy to carry. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at the design and then we'll head outdoors and I'll show you some cinematic shots that I've taken with this alongside my new iPhone 16 Pro. So let's get into it. Now this comes with these retractable barn doors that have reflectors on them and they open up all the way around as well. So this is really great for you to distribute the light source however you want at specific angles. You can get a very tight angle by just doing it like this or you can get a very wide angle by opening up the doors as much as you can. This whole attachment is detachable so you can remove this if you wanted to but if you just want to leave it on these actually open up all the way to the side so you can just use the fill light on its own. So that's a very nice touch that they've added here as well. Now this utilizes something called DynaVort cooling system. And what that means, it uses fluid dynamics and a dynamic control algorithm that enables the stick light to deliver exceptional high brightness fill lighting capabilities. So if it does overheat at maximum peak brightness levels, then the cooling fans will kick in and there are six of them, as you can see the slots for them on each side. In terms of the power inputs, this has a type C 100 watt PD fast charging port. You can use a constant power supply, but this is also rechargeable so you can get plenty of battery life when you are using it wireless. But this also comes with a DC charging port that supports up to 120 watts of a wired DC power supply. That is sold separately so you'd have to buy that on your own. But altogether this has six 2600 milliamp batteries in built into it. And just to give you an indication of the battery runtime, this is a screenshot showing at various different brightness levels how long the battery would last on wireless power. In addition to that, it comes with this nice diffuser that you can place on top of the barn doors. And this will allow you to have more of a softer light rather than a harsher light. And I'm always a big fan of using these rather than direct light sources. So I will take a lot of photos with this on. And it also comes with a carry pouch as well. So if you do take this with you, it is very portable. I recommend putting it in this pouch and then you can put this into your backpack. And it also comes with a small USB cable to charge it up. But if you want to have constant power source, then you can buy the power plug adapters, whichever you want, Type-C or DC powered, sold separately. And this is how you will turn on the light. You have a power button just in the middle of the control wheel, which actually spins around. You have four different modes here. You have max at the top to give you the max peak luminance, which goes up to 2610 lux at its maximum peak brightness, which is absolutely very bright. You have some effects which will cycle through. You have the HSI, so you can cycle through a lot of the RGB color scale. And then you have dim, so you can go through the CCT scale, which is from 2700 to 6500 Kelvins. So now let's go ahead and take a look at this showcasing me with more of a darker room and then with the light on to show how bright this is and how much it can illuminate your subjects. Okay, so I've made it a little bit darker in the room, as you can see. I haven't turned the light on just yet. I wanted to showcase how it looks if you didn't have a light source and you are in dark areas. Now let me go ahead and turn on the CF100 and see how much of a difference this makes. And there you go. You can see the massive difference in this and I don't have the soft diffuser attached to the barn doors just yet. I'm gonna add that now, but I just wanted to showcase you know, how great the light is. This is not even on its maximum brightness. And what I will show you is if I hit the max button on the control wheel, how bright this actually goes. So let me just turn it to max now. Now this is max and it is quite blinding so I won't look directly into the light, but you can see how much brighter this is. It's pretty much as if I'm standing outdoors in daylight. This is going to be used primarily if you are in extreme dark conditions where you need a lot of light source, especially in very large open spaces, for example, that will do great for that. So let me go ahead and put the diffuser on there to make it a little bit softer. I'll reduce the brightness back down to around 50% and just show you how nice it looks. And there you go, that's much nicer. It's a little bit more ambient. I've got this set to 3,700 Kelvins at 50% brightness. And it's just so much easier to work with when I'm just one person in front of the light. And if you are going to do maybe interviews with people, you don't want to blind them in any way with harsh lighting. This is the perfect scenario. Stick on the diffuser, maybe just make adjustments to the CCT scale and adjust the brightness to make sure you get very nice glow to your videos. And this will just work perfect. So what I'm going to do now is to show you all the different modes that come with this, with this area in my room. And then we'll head outdoors and show you some really cool cinematic photography. Okay, let's go ahead and turn this on.
So we'll start off with DIMP, which is the CCT scale. You select it to go through all of the different options on this menu. So this is 6,500, and that's 2,700, very warm. If you press it again, you can increase the brightness yourself. So we'll leave it around 90%. If we go over to HSI, if we start off with the H, you can see it goes all the way to 360. This is the RGB color scale, so you can keep spinning until you find the right color. Let's just go through all of them. Three sixty will be the red, and if you press that again, it goes to saturation. And we'll do one hundred percent, and then the intensity is at one hundred. We'll just leave it at that. Now, if we go to effects. I'm just going to bring up a screenshot now to show you all the different types of effects that you can have with this, but I'll just showcase how they look. So the first one is SOS. It's just blinking in case you are in trouble. TV light. You've got a light bulb. That's flickering. Candle. A very nice warm ambient light. You've got lightning, so if you want to simulate lightning flashes, really great for shooting movies at night time. You have a fire. And then it goes back to the coloured effects. Now if we go back to the CCT scale, I'm going to reduce the brightness down to let's say 20% rather than you having to go back into the control wheel to go all the way back up to 100%, you can just hit that max button at the top. That will go to 4,300 by default and 100% brightness. So that's a very quick and convenient way to get a lot of your effects and lighting needs done straight away. So that covers all of the modes on the stick light. Now there's nothing left to do except head outdoors and showcase how I can get some really cool shots and videos with this in real life scenarios. So now I'm outdoors and let's go ahead and use my iPhone 16 Pro to take some really cool photography with the Cinepair CF100. So I'm out here with my friends and we got some really cool shots for you. So let's go ahead and take a look at that now. Hello, how'd you do? I'm not broken, I'm just split in two. Hope you're fine, ain't got time to do everything you said you would. Frames of the past and the memory of you just come running by Pictures of sunny days With your smile and the power How could they say I was broken? How could they say you made me come undone? Now I know that it's okay Unlike my friends, you are nothing like that So there you have it. Hopefully you saw how great you can take some photography with the iPhone 16 Pro paired with the CF100 stick light. This is now one of my favorite go-to filming lights. I'm gonna be using this very often. It's very versatile. You can get very creative with it. There's not much more else you can say. It's absolutely great. Now make sure to check out the description for a 10% discount code and make sure to check out the website to find a whole variety of lighting products that Zion provide. As always, if you have any other questions or comments, make sure to ask them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Make sure to like this video, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you all next time.